Hi, Fabricator Mini Users, uh, specifically version 1.5 from Hobby King, uh, on sale for 177 US. Um, I'm just uh, making a video to share some of my learnings and modifications to uh, this little printer. As we all know, the uh, Fabricator Mini uh, is a very basic uh, 3D printer with the 8cm uh, cubed uh, print volume. It doesn't come with a heated bed uh, to keep the price down, no doubt. So you're pretty much limited to uh, PLA. Even though some people have been uh, successful using uh, ABS, um, a heated bed is obviously considered the, uh, the way to go to get uh, reliable prints. So. Um, so yes, so I found uh, a heated bed on eBay. Uh, might put a link below, and uh, just thought I'd give it a try to see uh, how it would go. So here's here's some of the things that I've uh, come across in in getting that up and running. First of all, I'll show the uh, power supply. Uh, you, you need to consider upgrading that. Uh, I've updated mine to a 30 amp output, 12 volt. Uh, the 7 amp standard one is probably going to be pushed slightly to the limit with a heated bed. So um, a heated bed uh, runs between 5 and 6 amps, uh, closer to 5 on my particular build. So, um, and if you hook it into the uh, the MKS baseboard, uh, the thermistor um, will give that temperature reading back on the main board with uh, some configurations to the Marlin software, which I've now done. So I've just uh, set up the preheat uh, menu item. And as you can see, both the hot end and the bed kick into gear and pull around about eight amps uh, peak. So yeah, 8.10, 8.10 on the uh, meter there. But uh, yeah, hovering around the eight amps. I've also hooked up a, uh, a baseboard fan, hooked that up to the extruder head 2 um, pinouts, uh, and I've reconfigured the software. There's a setting there to use controller fan, and I've enabled that so it switches on whenever the uh, stepper motors are armed. Alright, so we can see the uh, preheat's uh, winding away there. The temperature's coming up fairly quickly on the heated bed. So it's uh, pretty good, you don't have to wait very long. It's got the little LED indicator uh, underneath the front of the uh, bed just to let you know when uh, heating is enabled. And that uh, can give you some confidence that the, uh, the power is cycling as it should to maintain that temperature. So there we just saw the hot end just finishing up at 4 amps on its own, dropping back. Uh, and now we can see that the preheat temperatures are have reached their uh, limits. So I'm just going to, just for an example, um, print off um, some filament clips. You can never have too many of these and specifically I wanted to use the ABS to print off these clips because I found that the PLA clips that I'd made have lost their tension over time so hoping the ABS is a little tougher and uh, will retain their um, springiness, their tension. Alright, so it's just going through its exercise ready to start this print. So you can see the, the bed heats uh, separately. So I'm not sure why they do this because um, when the preheat they both heat at the same time. So if you wanted to limit the current, that's probably a little bit inconsistent. But, uh, so you've got to wait for the bed to heat up first. But with this uh, bed set up with the higher setting, where um, both uh, left and right halves of the bed are in parallel. It doesn't take very long. That's it, just getting up the temperature now. And now we can see the current just for the hot end. You can see the bed just uh, cycling in and out now. With the current, so you're getting that 5 amp snapping in and out. So you certainly need a power supply that can just handle that uh, bit of a spike in current. Now the hot end's uh, heating up. Um, I've set my ABS temperature to 215 to try. No um, 
Others have tried 210, as down as low as 210, and had reasonable results. So I just thought I'd try 215 and see how it goes. I've raised the maximum setting in the config to uh, handle those higher temperatures. Here we go. Um, didn't manage to grab that bit of a dag on the end <laughs> before it started printing, so I'm going to have a bit of a bit of a a clock here at the beginning, but I usually try and grab that out of the road if I can. Sometimes you can, sometimes you don't. So I'm just trying to clear that away. So you've really got to have these beds exactly level, and you'll notice there's paper on the front of the bed there that I've um, shimmed up the, uh, the bed corners. Uh, it really needs to be very accurate. I mean, you need to be within 0.1 of a mil uh, when you do your height tests so that um, you know you don't have any high and low points on the bed. Certainly if you do, you're going to invite warping. There's no question about it. So I've had fairly good results with uh, PLA and now uh, this is really only my third print now with Save Yes. Here's uh, one of the earlier prints I've done and I've used a, a bead, uh, a brim I think they call it, um, and that's worked really well. The, the brim makes it easy to get off the board and it comes off very cleanly. Alright, so it's uh, cycling along nicely now. Um, the fan is hooked up to that controller on the Extruder 2 uh, port and that's working quite well. Uh, you can see there the routing of the well, a bit of the routing of the cabling to the bed and I've uh, hooked up G JST connectors to make it easy to uh, to remove that bed entirely if I ever need to do any maintenance on it uh, rather than having it hardwired in. So here's the other side of the bed and you can see I've routed those cables to the left of uh, the printer round underneath the slider bar. Uh, it is touching that uh, slider bar um, but you know there's no force on that and bar is oiled up so it slides on me without any friction at all so I don't think that's going to be an issue. Got it going behind the Z stepper uh, collet at the back there and it doesn't touch that either. I've been using the Kaleido filament and I've had really good success with that um, and the ABS doesn't seem to be any different to the PLA as far as quality. It's, um, so far it's been uh, printing quite smoothly. There's my little toolbar. Make everyone print one of those out. It's quite handy to have those. Anyway, that's my uh, Fabricator Mini with a few modifications. So, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, catch you next time.